My name is Amr Azim. I'm a reproductive endocrinologist at New York City IVF. I want to discuss today uh, uh, genetic aspects of in vitro fertilization, pre-implantation genetic diagnosis, um, and, and in other words, what could be done in relation to genetics in somebody undergoing fertility treatment, especially in vitro fertilization. Um, one can categorize uh, uh, the, 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 the genetic abnormalities or problems that women encounter trying to reproduce into uh, three major categories or birth defects. One of them is uh, uh, chromosomal abnormalities, uh, meaning uh, an embryo has an extra or a missing chromosome or uh, some other uh, 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 rearrangements on the chromosomes. Uh, or one chromosome on top of the other, right? This is the whole chromosome. As you know, our cells have 46 chromosomes, and these chromosomes sometimes have abnormalities in their number or shape or configuration. Uh, the other broad category is a specific genetic problem, which are related to single gene problem, or otherwise sometimes called monogenic. Uh, examples of that would be cystic fibrosis, which is more common in white population, uh, sickle cell, uh, uh, anemia, which is more common in, in, in uh, 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 black population. Um, uh, Asian populations is also some sort of a blood disease called thalassemia. Uh, Mediterraneans have also some specific ones. Uh, Ashkenazi Jewish have a, a, a bunch of uh, specific abnormalities. So this broad category speaks for a specific abnormality uh, uh, that has a specific pattern of inheritance. And uh, the, the third category is, is uh, it, it does not fall into the first uh, uh, two categories. Um, many uh, couple would ask, uh, I want the, uh, the embryo tested or I want to be tested for everything. And, and, and uh, uh, from a practical standpoint, um, one cannot test for everything. Uh, there are tens of thousands of single gene disorders or genetic abnormalities. Uh, probably the broadest uh, uh, commercially available test is about 100 genetic uh, uh, screening for 100 genetic problems. Um, the screening is done at the level of the parents before they even reproduce, before they even start treatment. And uh, this is because it might direct us to which gene one can test for in the embryo if needed. So it's screening of the parents and from there, uh, uh, try to detect, if, if, if there is a problem with that screening, then we try to detect that in the embryo and avoid it. Uh, the biggest, the, the, the widest test carries about 100 genetic problems, but by, by no means is comprehensible. It is comprehensive, so it's possible that there is a gene that was not tested for in the father or in the mother or both that can be transferred to the embryo. So uh, th this is the limitation. But if it's, if it is, uh, uh, if, uh, if uh, two African-American parents, each one of them carries sickle cell uh, trait, meaning uh, one bad gene for, for sickle cell anemia and one good gene. And there is one in 25 chance that one of the, of, w w w one in four or 25% chance that one of their children would, would, would be affected, that can be tested for. That's a specific abnormality. If two white parents, uh, each one is a carrier for cystic fibrosis, and uh, the, 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 in other words, they carry one, ab one abnormal gene for cystic fibrosis and one normal gene. So there is also one in four chance that one of their children would have uh, a cystic, cystic fibrosis disease, not just a carrier, and that can be also tested for. So whenever you have a specific genetic issue, that could be tested for in the embryo. The testing in the embryo is limited by the amount of DNA that one can get from a single cell or few cells. And because of that, the screening is done at the level of parents. Uh, the other form of testing that's also available is to test the, 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 uh, the uh, chromosomes of the, uh, of the embryo. Uh, one can test the chromosome of the embryo for two broad reasons, uh, because of a, a chromosomally mediated recurrent pregnancy loss, mean parents uh, would have a, a, a recurrent loss and it's because one of the parents have an abnormal configuration of uh, 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 chromosomes that is passed at a higher percentage to the embryos. Uh, or one could test the embryos uh, to improve the success of IVF because it's well known that chromosomally normal embryos uh, implant at a higher 
uh, uh, odds, much higher odds than a chromosomally abnormal uh, uh, embryos. So, to, in other words, uh, used to improve IVF success without uh, a specific background genetic abnormality, which is an area of controversy whether this is helpful or not, but it is an available test. Uh, the, the, uh, the, uh, the third category where people have a genetic problem from a, or, or a birth defect from a prior child and this will require extensive uh, 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 study of the data from the prior child, uh, what was the genetic issue, if any, uh, and uh, uh, based on that have extensive genetic counseling to uh, indicate the risk of recurrence in a subsequent baby uh, and uh, uh, the, the, uh, the uh, manage accordingly. So if uh, a specific uh, single gene problem or a specific deletion of a chromosome or a specific genetic defect is found, most of those could be tested for. Uh, how, uh, w if, if, test is, is, if testing is indicated, uh, how, do we do it? Um, the, the most common uh, uh, method of testing is to obtain DNA from the embryo, means after the egg is fertilized, uh, because that represents the father and the mother. Egg is fertilized with injection of the sperm into the egg, otherwise known as ICSI, and uh, the embryo is allowed to develop till day three or day five. One or few cells from the embryo are obtained and laser is used to separate these cells from the surrounding uh, 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 embryo. The embryo itself remains where it is in culture in the lab and uh, uh, the cells are fixed means to, to, to uh, uh, put in a, on a glass slide and, 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 uh, and uh, in, 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 so that we can obtain its DNA for analysis. Uh, special uh, 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 genetic uh, labs would obtain the DNA and then test it uh, for a specific defect or for all the chromosomes. Uh, the specific, the uh, method is called polymerase chain reaction or PCR for uh, single genes uh, and uh, is, is a microarray or a SNP array for the analysis of all the chromosomes. Um, the, the cells could be obtained on day three, uh, which is one of the stem cells of the embryo. It doesn't affect uh, the development of the embryo uh, uh, in terms of missing a cell uh, because these cells are not differentiated. While in advanced embryos, uh, it is done from the outer cells that make the placenta. Um, obviously, there is many things to be said about the accuracy and, uh, and, and it's definitely not 100% accurate. It's probably 90 or 95% accurate um, um, uh, in uh, detecting what you intend to detect. Uh, and this would be a point of discussion between you and your reproductive endocrinologist if uh, genetic testing of the embryos is indicated. Thank you very much.